So in this lesson, we're going to look at two smaller concepts. We're going to look at angle of inclination and collinear points. Now, the situation here is that we're still talking about gradient, all right? So just understand these um, different things. So just write the learning goal down and we'll get straight into it, okay? Find the gradient given an angle, okay? So we're told that the angle of inclination is 30 degrees. So what's the gradient of it? And I've actually drawn it here. Um, it'll be hard to see what the gradient is, but we'll have a look at it. The interesting thing is this. If I look at um, sine, if I look at um, tan theta, and we'll call it tan alpha, all right? Tan alpha is opposite over adjacent, isn't it? Now, let's draw that. So I'm going to draw that. I'm going to put my alpha here, and opposite will go here, and adjacent will go here. All right. Now, what is gradient? Well, we looked at in the last video, it's rise over run. Oh, that's the same as opposite over adjacent. So in this case, we could just find that because we're given the angle, we, we actually know how to find the gradient. We can use tan. So therefore, tan 30 will give us our gradient, okay? Because it will give us opposite over adjacent, which is the same as rise over run, okay? So you can put in your calculator, but this I know is an exact value. Um, remember our triangle, so let's get our triangle up. That's in our formula sheet. And that's 2, 1, root 3. That is 30 degrees here. That is 60 degrees there, isn't it? So what is our angle of inclination? All right. And the angle of inclination, it, I mean, what is it? It's a half, okay? So tan 30 equals a half. Um, opposite over adjacent of 30 degrees here, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Now let's see if we can actually prove that using um, this graph. So if I go, that's one run there, and, oh, actually this is the wrong graph. I've actually drawn the wrong graph. So cross it out, cross it out. Don't worry about that, okay? So the, the gradient, so we go, therefore, m equals a half. I'm really sorry about this graph, but yeah. So with the angle, we can find its gradient. All right, let's go to collinear points, all right? Now prove that these three points are collinear. So collinear means that they lie on same line. So that's what collinear means, all right? They lie on the same line. So the way we do that is that we actually find the gradient of... Um, I'll do it. So I'm going to find the gradient of these two, and then I'm going to find the gradient of these two. So let's do it. So we've got minus 2... Oh, let's label them. x1, y1, x2, y2, all right? So gradient equals rise, rise is y, so it's going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and let's just sub that in. So y2 in this case is 4, y1 is 0, x2 is 0, and y x1 is minus, minus 2. So we end up having 4 over positive 2, so our gradient is actually 2 in this case. All right, I'm going to use a different colored pen and I'm going to label, let's keep that, I'm going to keep that x2, y2 and pull this x1, um, y1, all right, and I'm going to do my second calculation. So let's call that m1 and let's do m2. So our second calculation, which is just these two points, okay? So m 2 equals y, 
y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 we've chosen to be 4 minus y1 is 20. Um, x2 is 0 minus 8. All right. Is that right? Yeah. X1 is 8. So we end up getting negative 16 at the top and negative 8 at the bottom. So what we can do is cancel out those negatives and therefore M2 also equals 2. Now, what do we know so far? We noticed from previous um, lesson that these two are definitely parallel because they have the same um, gradient. All right? So they're definitely parallel because they have the same gradient. But the fact that we've used the same point in both this one and this one means they are collinear. So that's it. Therefore, minus 2, 0, 0, 4, and 8, 20 are collinear as required. All right. So let me just reiterate what we've done. We've found that they both have the same gradient, so that means they're at least parallel, but because both the calculations included a uh, point that was the same, it means they are collinear. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Peace out.